This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Ablast. I'm joined by the slickest looking man in the room. We've got David A here as well. He's not going to like that, but you're good pals. So yeah, you'll take that one, won't you, MVP? Definitely, definitely. definitely. Um, yeah, man, you had to kind of represent, you know, the, the African attire. <laughs> Well, I think, uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've had you on an IFL. Of course, a lot of our viewers will know you from that boxing fight you had. But you go into the, the bare-knuckle scene here against a, a colourful character, Mike Perry. Uh, what did you make of Mike today? Nah, you know, it's exactly, to be fair, probably a bit more tame than I'm actually used to. Um, but he's a great character for any combat sport because, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a big personality. He, he talks a lot of trash and like really can hyper fight, but then he delivers on the other side as well. Like he comes to go, to, he comes to fight, you know. So it's uh, he's a great person to have and be against. Well, as was mentioned uh, by the people hosting this today, it's a historic event. It's the first uh, bare knuckle fight that this country's ever seen, um, and BKFC believe they're going to be doing some big things. Um, what do you know about what BKFC want to do? And, and you know, obviously, you're a major part of their plans going forward. So yeah, how much do you know about them? To be fair, it was, for me, initially, it was more just the opportunity of just getting that one fight out of the way. And I'm slowly starting to learn more in terms of what they're looking to do in future. And it's looking promising. You know, there's nothing that I can kind of say or put forward, but um, it's definitely something that I can see myself finding my way back to, you know, at some point as well. So, yeah, I'm excited. How are you feeling anyways? Obviously, you've been in combat sport for a while now, Michael. How are you feeling fit, fast, strong as ever? Uh, man, it's just... Ask anybody that trains with me now. Um, I feel like I've grown and I've gotten better uh, uh, in just combat sports in general. Um, you know, I wasn't able to kind of display and show that the way I would have loved to in my last fight, but I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm super pumped to be able to show it in this fight. Yeah, August 20th at uh, Wembley Arena. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people there coming to support you, Michael. And, uh, tickets going well so far? Obviously, I don't know what the tickets are on their side, but I know everybody that I know is already like I know people that are flying over from other countries just to come and see this fight because they're like like I said it's a fight that nobody knew they wanted to see nobody didn't think it was ever going to happen it's here now and everyone's super pumped for it people are booking flights to come over um, it's going to be crazy any advice from uh, your good friend David A? oh man he's always giving me like he, he, the thing is there's no even advice given he's just like man just go in there and do what you do best every time I go, I go to his gym a lot of the time to do some sparring and he's, he's, he always walks in like, oh, what dummies like sparring you today? And that's in boxing. Um, so he knows how good I am and, and the, the ability that I have in boxing. So I'm just looking forward to just dis display it in, without, the, without the gloves. How much do you know about Mike Perry and uh, how do you think the fight plays out itself? Yeah, Mike Perry, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's, been, he's been in the game for a long time. Everyone knows about Mike Perry. If you're in the MMA world, you 100% know about Mike Perry. You know, he was, uh, he was actually, beforehand, was actually calling me out uh, before we actually went to UFC, so I've seen like come like comments from him trying to trying to encourage that fight. Then he went to UFC, he had an amazing run over there. He's out, had his first bare knuckle fight. He's one and zero. Yeah, you know, he's, like I said, he comes to he comes for for war, but so do a lot of people. So for me, it's not something that I haven't seen before. For him, I'm someone that he has never seen. As much as he can, anybody can analyze from videos. He's never experienced the speed that I, uh, that, I, that I possess, the power that I possess, the precision that I possess. It's going to be a bad night for him, but a great night for, for a combat sport. Of course, he's coming from the US. Uh, it is in London. You're representing the UK as well. Some, some extra incentive and uh, not let the, the Yank get the win over it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Understand. I'm always repping when I'm here. Literally, is that the, last, the, the first time I've actually even lost in the UK was my last fight. And that was questionable. People are still like, eh, I think he won that fight. <laughs> Well, uh, as you know, we are a boxing channel. I hope you still keep up to date and yep. kind of up to speed with the boxing scene. So I'll give you a couple of uh, quick fire predictions. Joshua or Usyk? Uh, Usyk, only if Joshua decides to go with a similar game plan. If, he, if Joshua tries to box, Usyk wins that fight. And a bit of a curveball, this one. Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Uh, Jake Paul. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't see, I don't actually, I don't think Tommy Fury is actually a great, uh, uh, a good boxer. Um, I personally don't think, yeah, I'm not going to go into more detail though, but I just personally don't think he's that, he's that good a boxer. Okay, well listen, Michael Venom Page, best of luck on August 20th, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there, uh, in your bout against Mike Perry and hopefully you speak on IFL Spoon, alright? Yes, definitely man, always, always a pleasure to have you guys man, definitely. Thank you very much. Welcome Team Everlast to the Team Everlast Fitness Day.
Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.